Lady Apes, Gentlemen Apes, hi, this is Ape Andy. Um, ape Andy is a dumb ape, so I could only talk about one single topic and issues surrounding that one single topic in one video, so I don't mean to make separate videos um, in such a short span of time, but okay. Apes are noticing that during May 5th, Wednesday, trading hours, the volume of trading for GME was like 2.6 or 7 million, roundabouts that figure. And after the market closed, of course, there were after hours trading volume, 23K or something. But then if you notice, all the websites after the market closed on May the 5th, Wednesday, the report of the trading hours volume during the trading hours, it changed from 2.67 million to 1.7 million. Um, uh, Ape Andy has screenshots on Reddit. Okay. So. Everybody noticed the 1 million volume gone. Okay. Why is that? A bandy has no clue. Only guesses. Only theories. I'm not saying conspiracy theories. I'm only saying theories. Because um, I could be wrong. It's just my guess. My theory personal opinion after so many DTCC NSCC SEC new rules are in place especially 801 in place there are many other rules all of them are very good if enforced if enforced so with all these new rules in place the SHF the shorting hedge funds they have to comply with transparency okay so during the trading hours uh, this is a tactic that is an open secret. Hedge funds use it to bring the price down. How? They have several accounts. And um, apes are buying and holding, right? Just holding. So the price will not drop naturally in a free market. However, SHF they manipulate the market they engineer results how same sets of shares same sets of physical shares that they have in hand they trade from account a to account b dropping the price same sets of shares trading from account b to account c dropping the price okay so the price drops. They trade in between them very quickly. Algo trades, computer trades in milliseconds. So us normal human being buyers, it's not for us. They trade between accounts, same sets of shares, algo trading very quickly, bringing down the price. However, in each trade, the volume accumulates, right? The volume for that stock in the stock market accumulates. So by the end of the day, ah, GME was traded 2.6 or 2.7 million shares. However, a good amount of portion of that volume came from algo trades, same sets of shares trading between each other. That's manipulation of the market. Okay, and if you're an SHF shorting hedge fund, with so many new rules being set after two Congress hearings, one more coming up on May the 7th, third Congress hearing, so many new rules in place, so many eyes watching, you would have to at least try to comply with them, right? To not get caught. So what do you do? At the end of the market, you halt the computers for a while, 
reset the books so that the next day or the next few days later, when regulators come and check, hey, give me your books, let me ch check on it. Oh, okay, you didn't do such, okay. That's why the volume was gone. Reset the books. Many apes noticed a market halt. No way of proving it. Some very smart apes even took videos of it. I don't have it. Near closing on trading day May 5th, there were market halts for several stocks, several ETF stocks related to GME and AMC. I'm not making this up. I heard this from many smart apes. They told me they had screenshots, they had videos. So that's my guess, okay? Many new rules are in place, so the SHF have to watch their backs, have to try to at least comply. So during market hours, they were using this algo trades and the volume showed. But then if you don't adjust the volume, then when the regulators come in and check for transparency, they would discover such discrepancies. Then they would get caught, okay? Now, another situation arising from so many new rules in place and so many regulators watching closely, so many eyes watching, is that the SHF cannot as blatantly sell naked shares, sell synthetic shares, sell counterfeit shares, sell IOUs as before. So these new rules in place, especially 801, it means that the game is less rigged towards the SHF, more in the retail investor's favor. So we're getting a level playing field. So buy and hold. A bandy likes to think we're on a level playing field now with the SHF. But we're not collective groups. SHF, they are organized. We make up our own individual decisions. SHF have a good chain of command. Okay? So, we still have to be careful. In terms of organization, of course, SHF, they have clear advantage. They have more money, They're, they have chain of command, they're organized. We're just individual apes making individual decisions. So, the main thing, the key thing, the key idea is to buy and hold. That's the strategy that the SHF cannot get around with. Because if we buy and hold and not try to sell high and buy low, thinking the price would go down, of course, price fluctuates. This is a stock market. Anything can happen. Price goes up, price goes down. Okay. If you do not sell your shares, then these physical shares don't go back into the coffers of the SHF. They have less room to maneuver. They're bleeding. But they can bleed, you know. Because SHF, they, they sell their Florida estates, they sell their New York penthouse for cash. And the Florida estate was sold for a discount. The New York City penthouse was sold for a huge discount by the owners of these two SHF. So, um, I mean, if you're running a business that's making money, if you're the big boss of hedge funds, why in the world would you need to sell your Florida very expensive estate, real estate? Why in the world would you want to sell your New York penthouse? And for a huge discount, unless you're in urgent need of cash. So why would you be in urgent need of cash? Okay, so these are our personal opinion, personal guesses. Mm, be strong, apes.